Good morning, modern steaders. It's the, whew, it's slippery. It's the day after the pig harvesting class. And look at this. We got about a quarter of an inch of ice last night on top of all the snow. That's just crazy. Doesn't Mother Nature know? We're midway through April and we're getting this crazy weather. I am like literally dragging myself to my truck to warm it up. This ain't cool. It's frozen. Look at that. Man, that's just crazy. Careful, it's icy. And windy. It is very windy. Walk like a penguin. Kind of can. I know, you gotta stomp your feet. That's what I was doing. Stay there for a minute. I'll go feed the animals. Good morning to you too, Mr. Biggs. Look, we got chicken prints in the ice. Not just a two hour delay. No, I can't even get. <laughs> I don't even let you get on the bus. You can get on the bus. Yeah, it'll take like 15 minutes. Oh, you'll be fine. The, 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 truck is, the truck has been running for a half an hour, believe it or not. Even the animals are tired. Boy, that wind is blowing fierce. It's starting to rain now. I literally got home about 10 minutes ago, went inside, and we lost power. Oh, we got all that new bacon, uh, all that new pork in the freezer. So fingers crossed. I looked and I saw the top of a pine tree falling off the tree up here. So I'm going to go take a look and see how big it is. It's in the woods. My lens, your lens, is covered in rain right now. And I bet you the wind noise is some fierce. Getting close to that pine tree top. Let's see. Here it lies. Don't know what tree it blew out of yet, but from there, all the way there. Wow. Took down a birch on the way. Another dead pine. This one came from that big tree right there. Crazy. Whoa. You might want to get out of here. That wind's picking up. 
There's another one that we did. This one was a dead pine tree at least. Crazy. That's a big old pine. Probably don't want to stay out here too long. Oh, look at that. Rotted on the back side. All right, here's rotted. That's, oh. Thought I heard some snapping and popping. That's a big old pine though. All right, I'm going back in the house. I don't want no tree falling on me. Oh, hey. See that one right there? That's where that pine broke off from. Crazy. So my plan was, was to come home and to finish editing the first vlog from the pasture to plate pig harvesting class. We don't have power, so I can finish editing it because the laptop battery's still charged. You hear that cracking noise? But if I don't get power back, it won't be uploading tonight. So, I'll have to see what happens. Man, my canoe flew over. I'm gonna leave it right there for now. If I stand it back up, it's just gonna blow over again. But look, we had it leaning on the top bar beehive. Slam, 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 slam. It went for a good roll. video so hopefully we survived the storm and the videos get uploaded now it's morning and power never came back on last night this morning I'm working on getting the big generator set up to get the house powered and that's how we have lights and I'm working on getting the big generator going so that way we can upload the first pasture to plate culinary class video so that's what we've been doing and what we've been up to we had our little generator going last night for the freezer to keep the meat frozen from the class. Last night we had our small generator going for a little while and that was enough to run our deep freezer that we have all the pork in. This morning I got our big generator going, which takes a little bit of work sometimes, so I wasn't doing it in the dark. I called the power company last night and we were supposed to have power on fairly quickly. I called them back at nine o'clock and they said, you should have power. I said, I don't. They said, you should. I said, well, I don't. Well, I said, well, I guess you're not getting it till morning. And at that point, I didn't want to get the, gen the big generator fired up. So we got the little one enough to get the freezer going, but the walk-in cooler we didn't get going until this morning, and when I got the big generator fired up, it was 44 degrees in the walk-in, which is good. It didn't really warm up that much overnight. Right now, it is, let's check. So the cool bot's been on for about an hour. Eh, probably a couple of hours. It's 36 degrees in here now. The sausage is looking nice. 
And everything else in here is our meats that are curing. So we are in good shape. So, so far, I am happy with how everything is working out. Oh, then we lost power, but we're, being, we're dealing with it nicely. We're not gonna lose anything. We talked to the power company this morning. There's a big transformer that blew somewhere else. They're getting that fixed, and they've been working on it all night. And then they're coming to our area. It's not just us that's still out. And then we're gonna get power back. I guess what happened is they got some of the houses in our area fixed, and they thought they got all of them fixed. And then they left, went to a new spot to work on. <sighs> oh well. We're through the worst of it now. Fingers crossed the lights come back on in another hour or two. I'll keep you updated. Heat wise we're good because we got our wood stove. So that's a bonus. For cooking, we can either cook on top of our wood stove, we could cook in the outdoor kitchen on our antique wood cook stove, or our oven slash stove that we have upstairs. The stove top is propane and the oven is electric, so we are still able to use the stove top, which is nice. Whew, I can't say we're having some crazy weather. That's for sure, you would think it was beginning of fall or beginning of winter, not the beginning of spring. It's crazy, it's 11 o'clock now, still no power. The generator is doing great though. It's running two chest freezers, a cool bot, and two refrigerators right now, so we're in good shape. Whew, fingers crossed the lights come back on soon and I can get back to work. I can't go to work until we get the power on. I don't want to lose all that meat. See if you can see the snow coming down now. It's just crazy. About this time last year we had a micro burst come through and it just devastated this area. I'll put a link to that video right here. I think we were without power then for two or three days. That's That was crazy. I just got the phone call. Power is back on. I already flipped the switch, checked it. It is. But what I need to do is I want to shut the gas line off to the generator and run it out of gas because I don't want to keep the gas in the generator because it will gum up in the varnish. And that's your best way to kill your small engines if you're not gonna be using them for a while. Let them run out of gas. Because if not, I would forget, and then it would get all varnished with the new gas, and when I went to start it next time, it'd be a pain. So, we're gonna end the video here. I'm gonna head off to work now. It is, let's see, 12.16. And we lost power at 4 p.m. yesterday. Man, it was a long day. Long time without it. Glad we had that generator. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye.